Mom, this way. Did you break it? No. Hi, everybody. I am here in Canada. I'm visiting my parents, and my mom is going to teach me how to make pierogies. And now it's time for Martina to teach you Polish. Ku pierogi i zupi dodumo. Powidzi wes ze sitikim lubni miau nikomumu. She made lots of pierogies for me when I was a young boy, and I figured when I'm back in Canada, I want my mom to share this recipe with me so that I can make it for Martina in the future. My father has already. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he's he's disappeared. Where, where'd you go, Dad? Where'd you go? So he's gonna do his puzzle now. He's given me all of the instructions that I need. He doesn't want any arguments, so he says he's gonna do his puzzle while me and my mom learn how to make pierogies. This is gonna be. As a smart dad, he's like, have fun, smart Simon. <laughs> he's got his red wine in his puzzle. It's 11 a.m. Let's get cooking. Martina is camera woman. She will be able to sit behind okay. the camera for once and have the spoils of victory when you make so, me pierogies from okay. scratch. I have been told many things <laughs> about this recipe. Good luck. Good luck. And dough. And dough. And dough. We will start with the dough. Ah, because Dad told me not to put it on the board. Okay. Really Mommy and Daddy are already in disagreement. First moment, you just need to flour the surface. Yeah. You need to clean it really well, flour it, and then you put your flour Hey, you well. can't tell me anything about my ancient family recipe. Maybe it's not ancient, but it's Polish. But pierogi and cabbage roast okay. is long Polish tradition. I need two of these. Two. One egg. One egg for this much flour? Yeah. What are you doing? Peeking. You go do your puzzle, mister! Don't peek! Don't peek! <laughs> You're not allowed! Okay. And I'm supposed to take one egg. And I'm supposed to put it in there. Two oil. or three whiskey or egg. This Two or three spoons, spoons of oil. Yeah. A little bit of salt. Here is where the discussion became heated. Yes. <laughs> Watch! <laughs> you have to beat properly! <laughs> you can't do it with a fork! No! Because it's different, you, you, you will not do it properly and the fork is, you, you will stick to the fork, it will be No, that's how people make their dough, they usually do it with a fork. No. I won't be allowed to do this it. This is not proper doing okay. the dough. I'll do the proper way! <laughs> From when I made pasta in Italy, I just use a fork. Dad's like, no fork, you must use a knife. So I have to take the knife and I have to flip it over instead of whisking it. Okay. Because from what I was told, you're supposed to like work the dough. You know dough what, in. Simon? That was an Italian woman. Were they Polish? You know what? I'm breaking my father's recipe. Were I'm they sorry, Polish? Dad, no. I can't do it your Simon, way with no. The knife. Simon, you can't. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you have to mix, and and after mixing the egg oil and and flour, you have to add hot water. Okay. Are you sure you need it? more than one egg? I think I need more than one egg. No, it will be too hard. This is going Keep terrible. bringing it. Maybe you just with your knife, Simon. Maybe if you use a knife, it This is why I should have used my father's knife. Should have used the father's knife. How right. is this at all? Now you add up a little bit of water. A little bit of water. This warm? Yeah. Warm. Okay. So, oh. so be careful. Adding water slowly. What am I doing? <laughs> this is Stassi on a scale of one to five. Five being super good and one being okay. Where is Simon right now? You know, he's my son. Pick a, nu pick a super number. Super good. Pick a number, Mrs. Stassi. One to five. One hundred. You failed, this Simon. Is, this is the. You know what? The this, judges this, are. This it's is, rigged. It's okay. It's okay. Still, okay. I'm still filming, I swear. Are you ready for the. Yeah, I'm totally watching you. Oh. This is for the table. Hope you're taking recipe notes because you have to write a recipe out on the website. I gotta write shit afterwards? Nah, this is it. Lemon's gonna go online and find uh, a recipe. If you are similar. coming to this video in hopes of learning something so you can apply this to yourself afterwards, let me tell you, you've come to the wrong video. <laughs> this is all about me connecting with my family. Okay, so you do not have enough liquid in there. More liquid. Yeah. No, not yet, no, no. More liquid or no, Mom? No, 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 work on this. Work on this. All right, keep going, Ducky. All right. I'm listening to my mom, not my wife. 
Go for That's it. That's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> this part of the video isn't fun anymore. No, this is, this is, everybody complain. This is hard. It, it, it requires uh, physical work, but because you are each day on a fitness club, you have enough energy and power to make a good uh, dough. Thanks, Mom. Ready? Yeah, it looks nice. You mm. know you, how you can check? Just push the finger. Yeah. If it will stay, it is okay. Good. It is okay? It is okay. We hey. like our dough mm. really tough here in the Snosky family. I wonder if I can And it will be really delicious. Uh, uh, yeah, Find and, and we can do put on the, on the plate. Feels like no one wants to pet And me. covered by... Not well, everyone ignores me. I'm just talking about stuff. Here I am. Meow! Meow! My cheesecake! Please pet me. My dad is so happy with this. He just that look of disgust that come he Come take had. a look. Come take a look. See if you can help him out, please. All right, Dad. What's next? Is this enough? Yeah, it looks okay for me. Looks okay for you. Let's put it on a plate. Yep. Everyone's in the kitchen, but no one will pay attention to me. Oh, okay. Explain that, Simon. So this right here is kapusta. You might also know this as sauerkraut. This is just vinegared cabbage, and is very big in Polish cooking. It's basically kimchi without the spices. Yeah, you can say that, but it's Pickles. a lot more tart and sour. So we bought this at the Polish store yesterday. More? More, more, more. Damn, how many pierogies do you want me to make? Pierogies, kapusta i grzyba. My mom is being a bit too much of a hype man for me. I'm just making pierogies on camera, mom. I'm excited to make Yeah, but now I'm a little bit embarrassed. So my mom went on and on to the owners of the shop that I'm going to advertise them without even asking me. But if I don't do this, then I'm going to get a FaceTime call from her and I'm going to be scolded. So here goes. Come on down to Gina's European Delicatessen. They got sausages, kielbasa, and some very good cold cuts. And most of all, they have sauerkraut. For those three of you living in the Durham region that watch my videos, Go on over there! You're gonna love it! There you go, Mom. Located on 145 Kingston Road, East Unit 4 at Salem Road 8, Jack's located in McDonald's Plaza, 905-428-3891. Is that what you want to say? My mom is still hyping up and she wants to take it home and she won't stop. Mom, come on. Captain's log, I am not part of this party. I am just the camera woman today. Uh, for once, remember me behind camera. I might be having fun by myself. The camera work goes askew, you'll know why. We wash our sauerkraut wash because it's too sour. too sour. We want kraut, not sauerkraut. Cold water, here we yeah, go. Yeah. You said two times. Is this one time yet? Yeah, it's okay. It's enough? Yeah. I have washed the sauerkraut. On its own right now, the sauerkraut is very tough and vinegary. And not enjoyable. Are you putting in ketchup? No, 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 no ketchup. Just, just uh, plain water and uh, sour cream. When I was a kid, it used to be ketchup. Really? <laughs> <laughs> not on everything. In the kapusta, it was all ketchup. But you're not making kapusta, right? This is kapusta. No, are you making kapusta? This is sauerkraut. Kapusta. Sauerkraut is kapusta. Kapusta oh. in vinegar. Oh. Oh. I asked my parents a question. This is the dinner table that they eat at. Mm -hmm. Why does my dad have a bag of onions? beside your chair at the dinner table. Please explain. I love onion. Because onion and, and your father is like a marriage. And he doesn't yeah, yeah. want to separate. Welcome from... home. Thank you, mom. Uh, but then afterwards, we want to boiling it for a while to try to get rid of some of the sourness that comes to this because we don't really want a tart pierogi. So it's not as sour as it was before. This is definitely a lot more... Would you say like pickle or coleslaw? Yeah, this tastes more like a coleslaw now. All right, so we take this and I do what? Chop it? Chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. chop, 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 chop. Which is what in Polish? How do you say chop, chop, chop? Shikach. Shikach. Shikach, shikach, shikach. Shikach, shikach, shikach. The reason why I say this is because my dad always, whenever we would drive and he would get angry at someone, he would go, why would that guy do that? Because he's stupid. Please? Why did you chop them, dad? Chop, 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 chop. This small knife is for chopping. All right, here we go. Just one minute. I don't know if that works, Shumush. but. Shumush. This is a bread knife, mother. Next, I am chopping onion, yes? 
Yes, sir. See how long I'm working on this pierogi? And she, she, she's always looking at slices. I don't understand why is there thing. one onion that's cold and one that's warm? Don't ask questions, Simon. It depends on personalities. No, mother, onions don't have any personalities. My father wants me to put jerk seasoning and tandoori seasoning in Polish pierogies. Okay. You. What's a Polish flavor? I don't know. I, 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 I use right now jerk and tandoori. This is good. In Polish recipe, paper and salt. We need some paper. Where are we going to get the paper at? Just paper and salt. This is fun. This is I gotta be fun. honest. Isn't this? This I is just wild. I need more wine. Me and my mommy cooking together. That's most Mom, amazing. did you and I ever cook in the kitchen before? No. This is our first time. I have a question for you, Martina. Yes. Uh, mostly cooking at home, you, you are doing. Oh, we're pretty even. But even. Uh, Very uh, even. Really? It, it's even, it surprised me. Yeah. If, if we're having a dinner together, like a healthy dinner, yeah. like let's say pork chop. A lot of y'all don't know this, I do a lot of cooking. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. Like, absolutely. We'll, we'll split the job. So Simon will go like, okay, I'll do the pork chop, I'll tenderize it. Cooperation. Oh, thank you very much. All right, mushrooms are going in. Mushrooms are going in. You know what I realized? What? This is a vegetarian pierogi recipe. Ah, Not vegan, because it's vegetarian. Egg in, but it's veg there's no milk in the dough. No, there's no milk. So the only animal product is... There's one egg for a ton of flour. So then why did you put the caboose in this bowl? I don't know. That? You want me to I don't know. <laughs> You put from small bowl to another small bowl, I and now you need a third you. bowl? Yeah, so Three bowls! Simon talks about bowls. Mom, all this goes in here now? Absolutely. Absolutely, and here we go. Have to mix it. With my hands? It's too, too, too hot. I know, I tested you. Good answer. <laughs> you really oh, there it is. You really must all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna make this work. Your mom just said the funniest thing. Your mom just said the funniest thing. What? She said you're gonna lose clients after this video. I'm gonna lose clients. Hey, make sure you stay subscribed. <laughs> my mom just said you're gonna subscribe. You don't have to listen to my mom. My mom doesn't know you and me. We have a bond. You, you are not. Did you just tell me what I was describing? This is your son's oh livelihood. <laughs> my mom is trying to take my career. I knew that this video was a terrible idea. Why have I said a video over? No more pierogi. No, it's okay. Pierogi over. It's the Canadian pierogi, okay? Uh, you know what? A Polish pierogi and a Canadian pierogi. Isn't it upsetting, pierogi? men? When you're working hard in the kitchen, you just have the two women getting drunk and laughing with each other, while us men slave away in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, so. I think you guys, we got to join. Mommy, you got this girl. Yes, please, Mrs. Stoski, come join me. Hang on, Simon. We need a minute. Hey, this is just Martina's plan. Yeah. To get okay. my mom okay. drunk. My mom's been holding back for a while, and how we figured we can handle it. We can survive. We can survive it. We can survive. Thank you to this wine. How you doing, Dad? Hey, Dad. 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 Hey, Dad.
Nice. Bye bye. <laughs> See that? That's beautiful right there. Then you're pinching, 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 pinching. There you go. Look at that. That's this a good pierogi. Perfect. This is a perfect pierogi. I'm going to show my daddy. Dad! Show me. I made a perfect pierogi. Close to. What percent? You can say 90%. 90%? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost there. I almost have my father's approval and love. <laughs> Not yet. I'm still working hard for it. Did you know that you could also put blueberries in your pierogies? I'm sorry, this is a perfect pierogi. Show me the pot. Dad! Yes? Often I can promise next time I, I will stay and prepare 100 pierogi just uh, to provoke uh, you guys to visit. You promise? I promise. Promise, promise. Promise, promise. Even 200 is worth it to see you guys. 200? Can we get 300? Is there 300? Can we get 400? 450 to the grumpy man in the back. What does the young lady up front say? Because even 500 is worth to see 500? The woman at the front says 500. What do I get from the old man in the back? 500? You pass? Yeah. You pass. He's sneaky. 500 going once. <laughs> going twice. And I suckered my mom into making 500 pierogies. It's worth it if you will really visit to me. 500 pierogies. Guys... Beautiful. Pierogies are finished. Okay. Pierogi time finished. Time to boil. Thirteen. Fourteen pierogies. 11 pierogies, 14 pierogies. How long are you having it on for? This is supposed to be on for five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna take out one of these, cut the corner to see how, oh, this is so soft now. I can feel right away. It's good. I, I believe you, I trust you. My mom doesn't believe or trust me here, but she's agreeing. <sighs> What's that in the distance? The old angry man comes oh. out. To judge. Mm. Don't like it. I will Don't. judge when I eat. Who says you're gonna eat? Oh, you will not let me. I'm making for myself. Okay. Oh, did you want some of my pierogies? That'll be $100. <laughs> All right, should I give him a rinse in cold water or no? No. No? I'm hearing different information okay. from different people. <laughs> well, maybe not, because we will eat from... We'll eat them straight. And here I made a batch of pierogies. You did, Ducky, you really I did. I did. My mother has taught me how to make pierogies. My father has taught me as well. Both of them have been a very active part of my life. Both of them I equally love. Really? Yes, really. Now let's try some of these pierogies. How are you going to eat them? With a fork and knife. Uh. Uh. And we are not leaving the table until we eat every pierogi in this bowl. No one's allowed to go upstairs. No dessert, no TV, until you finish all your pierogies. Okay, we take uh, one pierogi each and you eat the rest. That's not fair at all. <laughs> my mom and dad don't want to eat my pierogies. Here we go. Here is the first pierogi. Made by Simon. Made by Simon. Whoa, do you want any pierogi with all that sauce? That's a lot of sauce, Dad. I put the sauce on everything. Yeah. You ready? Mmm, it's good. You like it? It's good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think? The dough is a little, little bit uh, hard. Really? But, yeah, usually it's supposed to be softer. But it's uh, um, edible. Mom, what do you think? I, I never criticize my kids. It's okay. But you know, the most important is... Love. Love. The most important that we have today is love. And love will be forever. My mom and my dad. My mom and my dad. Thank you so much to my mom and my dad. Yeah. Ducky, you didn't even try my pierogies. Yes, sir. Come have a seat. It's about time. In between my parents, with no pressure at all, Tell me how much you love my pierogies. Now you know that uh, the dough cannot be so thick. You need way more salt in the filling. It just tastes like cabbage. You didn't put like salt and pepper. And... I thought the dough was very salty as is. No, the dough no, was dough barely is salty. salty. No, no. 
You, you just uh, do the pinch of salt uh, with dough. But I, I was talking about salt and pepper to sour crust. You have to give the season crust. salt. Okay, all the whole point is that everybody loves my pierogies and they're absolutely perfect. Thank you everyone for watching my video. That's it for this week, goodbye. I'm really touched because Martina's mom said she ate some of my pierogies and she liked them. And I said... <gasps> is that like, true? Really? Absolutely true. You like the pierogies? I love them. Did you give her money? I'm to say that? I'm just about to. I'm pulling out my wallet to... Mom. Sorry about that. Guys, really? But I like them. Why shouldn't I? The dough was delicious. <gasps> For your services. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was a payoff. I knew it the whole time. Scammers. <laughs>